Thanks so much for doing this, Jack. I Thank appreciate you. it. Yes. This must have been fun for you. No. Not on the slightest. It, it was, was horrendous. It was a thrill. Um, I mean, it's a Disney movie. And we all grew up with Disney movies. Yeah. I never in a million years thought I'd be a part of one. So. It must be cool to see yourself animated afterwards. I know you've done Simpsons. So that must have been a thrill, yes. too. But but to see your mannerisms as, as the mouth is moving and all that, that must have been quite the thrill. It was. Uh, because a movie like this takes a long time to make, like over two years. So, you know, you're in the studio several times, but it's not until you see the finished product that you're like, Holy smokes, this looks good. It looks really good. Talk about working in collaboration with Jane Lynch, because usually these animated films are done, you're in a booth by yourself, there's no one else around, but you got to actually play off her in a booth. That is true. Uh, most of the time it's just you and a microphone, but there were a couple sessions where I got to work with John C. Riley and I got to work with Jane Lynch, and those were, I got to say, those were my favorite, because you're, you're feeding off their energy and you're playing off whatever they have to offer. And Jane and I both have a background in improvisation back at Second City in Chicago. Right. And uh, so it was, it was a very easy and very fun. Why do I fix everything I touch? Are you able to like move around and do it like act like you normally would without a booth being around you? To some extent. You still got to be in front of the microphone. But another cool thing is that they videotape your sessions. So mainly your face, your mannerisms, your gestures, they will incorporate. But uh, there was, there, you're still somewhat confined to the microphone. It's not like they just like hook the yeah. microphone. <laughs> Explore the space. <laughs> now, I, I don't know you very well. We just met. But I think that's best. Right. <laughs> Good day, sir. <laughs> um, it, it sounds like parts of it where I lived. I wrote down in the theater, Jimmy Jammery, your character says. That sounds like something you might have tossed in, or did they write things specifically for you? I think they did write. I think once I became well, got on board, I think then they started tailoring me. And not just for me, for all the characters mm -hmm. uh, and the actors who portrayed them. Um, and even visually, they were really... The script evolved quite a bit from the very first table read to what you're seeing in the theaters. Um, and I was more than happy to let them, the writing was so good, tailor away. Like, <laughs> tailor away, friends. <laughs> was there something that drew you to Felix? How come you took this role? Well, it was definitely a character I could easily relate to. Uh, Jack McBrayer, like Felix, is a, you know, a people pleaser <laughs> and, and takes pride in doing a job well done. You know. Uh, I think those are important qualities that sometimes get you in trouble because you get a little, uh, get your blinders on, get mm -hmm. a little single-minded in your focus, but um, I can definitely relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, I, I just got to ask one Thirty Rock question. Sure. I know we're here for Wreck-It Ralph, but it's the last season, so yes. Alec and Tina, you're working with these fantastic people. Is there one thing you've taken away as an actor that you've learned watching them work? Trust your creative people. Um, the writers in the room and stuff. I come from a background in improv, so you know a lot of people are like, is there a lot of improvisation? Very little, because the mm -hmm. writers nail it. And similar to Wreck-It Ralph, if the writing is there, you can relax and enjoy the ride, and <laughs> it's so much fun. So we do something called Five Questions before I let you go. Five quick okay. questions, one word answers. Okay. Film or TV? TV? <laughs> is it, are they right or wrong answer? There's no okay. wrong answer. <laughs> Lennon or McCartney? McCartney. I've met him. You, oh, have you really? Yep. He was on 30 Rock. Right. Yeah. I know! <laughs> I'm a beetle. I'm a beetle. Favorite video game? Uh, Burger Time? Burger Time? I don't, I don't know burger either. time. What's burger know. time? I'm a thousand years old. <laughs> it was stupid. It was like you make hamburgers that stack. Oh, cool. Them. Roll you're most proud of. <laughs> I didn't know what you were saying. I thought you were saying wrong. No, like, <laughs> I was like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if, if I can't say Felix, then I'm going to say Kenneth. Cool. And in one word, Wreck-It Ralph. Fun. That's a good one. That's I like a good it. word, right? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate thank it. You. Appreciate it.